Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Tuesday afternoon? Well, I hope. All right, so again, we're going to be going into the uh, official Nickelodeon tie-in, The Good Burger. I didn't get the meal, but I did get the burger. Now available, streaming on uh, November 22nd on Paramount+. Plus. Only at Arby's. <clears throat> I'm just curious to see if this is going to be any good. Now, Arby's, it did say that this is their Wagyu beef uh, sandwich burger thing that they had a little while ago. And they have another one that is not directly tied into this that looked like it was like a cheese and like barbecue burger. So <clears throat> if this looks good and tastes good, there's another option to try also. It's a little smushed. It's a wee bit smushed. It's been in the packaging now for like an hour. Looks pretty cheesy. Cheesy. Some semi invisible lettuce back there. Tomato, onion, cheese, sauce. Maybe. No, I think that's just onion. All right, let's give her a shot, shall we? <clears throat> Kind of looks like it has sauerkraut. No, that's just the, the, the shredded lettuce. That's actually pretty good. Um, it has like, a, I think, sweet pickles, though. No? They're regular pickles. It must have like a sweet sauce on it besides the cheese. It's actually very good. I love the invisible lettuce. Yeah. It reminds me of a very good barbecue, like cooked at a barbecue burger you would get at home, which is, I guess, kind of the point. Though I'm a little concerned the middle might not be cooked all the way. Cameras colored line. Yeah, there's certain things around here that just get affected by the atmosphere and they become semi invisible. Can you see that? But the middle of the burger looks a little pink still, which usually isn't the best thing on a burger. You usually want ground beef to be all the way cooked through. Ground beef and steak are very different in your cooking temperatures. Yeah, you want your ground beef well done. It's not like a steak where you can do it like, you know, like rare or medium rare. You want it all the way done with ground beef because the grinding process opens up the meat to bacteria. So it goes, it spoils faster. So you want it cooked more thoroughly. Like, if you look up the internal temperatures on cooking food, ground beef actually has a higher internal cooking temperature recommendation than regular, like, steak does because of the extra bacteria. And that's why you should cook your burger all the way through. Steak, well, that's a little bit more forgiving. But yeah, this is actually really good. I would say it's a good burger. Both pun and not pun intended. Now, one do downside to this, though, is since it's Arby's, it is kind of expensive. The burger by itself was like seven bucks. So you are getting a large burger that tastes pretty good but just understand it's kind of expensive seven bucks yeah seven dollars seven american dollars for this one burger by itself i mean maybe over there it is i don't know but here when i went and stopped to get it it was seven dollars just for the burger by itself 
Yeah, seven dollar redos. But it is good. Don't get me wrong. And it's pretty filling. It's a pretty good sized burger. I'm now tempted to try the other one that they had, like the barbecue one or whatever it was. Because I think if it was still warm, it would be even better. And then maybe with the barbecue sauce, I might like it more. I don't know. But the sauce they have on this is actually very good. It's a little bit sweeter sauce, which usually places don't do on a burger. You usually have to go to a little bit fancier place than a fast food place for that. But yeah, I would say that was actually quite good. I don't think it's false advertisement. I think it is a good burger. Is it $7 good? Eh, maybe. If it was fresh, maybe. But, you know, mine's like, uh, what, two hours old now? So. All right. But there we go, team. So, yeah, try a, a Arby's Good Burger today for a limited time only. And then go watch the movie Good Burger. And then watch the sequel Good Burger 2. Because, welcome to Good Burger. Home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? And if you're really into the deep lore, do you like orange soda? I do, I do, I do, ooh. But that's only for the people who are into the deep lore. Uh, January 1st, um, it's a Monday. I believe I'm going to be off my day job. So we're going to do a special event. Um, but yeah, January 1st, it's a Monday. I think what we're going to do is about 8. We're going to start a uh, search -em. One of the uh, chat-involved search Um We've done these in the past, and they seem to be pretty well enjoyed. Um, and we'll do that for a few hours until either we finish it or we hit about 10 hours. After about 10 hours, or whenever we get done with the module, we will uh, switch over to the Discord and do a special Discord watch-along of The Princess Bride. Um, pretty well-known movie, but it turns out a lot of the people in the board here do not actually seem to know this movie. So, if I can find it somewhere to watch, or buy it, I don't care which, um, we'll be watching, uh, The Princess Bride, January 1st, presumably around 6-ish. We'll have to see how the day goes, maybe I'll push it up or whatever, but as of right now, I would say we'll start a, a search rooms module, and I'll figure out exactly which one as we get closer, and then... At around 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we'll switch over and we'll watch ourselves The Princess Bride. All the lurkers, of course, thank you. You have the Twitch world go round. I appreciate you. Anybody who checks the VODs here on the Twitch, checks on the VODs in the YouTube repository, thank you. It's always greatly appreciated. Uh, those numbers help keep me motivated. I um, uh, hope you all have a good rest of your evening. Zet, Ika, if you're still here. Uh, any of the lurkers, again, you all have a good one. I hope to see you all back on Thursday for Codelica. But yeah, everyone, I think that'll be it for me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bye.